As always in the summertime, they do tons of road construction so that the roads can be beat up again in the wintertime. Only this is some rerouting or something. Not that you care, but just thought I would explain. Okay, that is Dysart's over here. Over here on the right. Cycle over here. <laughs> good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I just realized though that I changed my pants this morning and I left my wallet at the hotel, so I'm what? gonna have to go get it, or you're gonna have to buy me breakfast. I can buy you breakfast. I've got to hope they've got an ATM machine because all I have is an ATM <laughs> card. This is Dysart. It's now I'm going to shut you off. Can we go for a ride, Tara? Uh, I don't think so. Got a seat right here for you. Let's, um, stop. That's it. I didn't do a lot of video, but um, Tom did. So when he gets back, you'll see a little bit more of the two of us. And I know he's also going to tape his visit with uh, Diva Tanya and with Christmas. So he's really hitting uh, everybody. Uh, and he looks, by the way, he looks fabulous. You know, if I did not know, if I did not know him, if I hadn't been following his journey and I just met him, he's one of those people that if he said, oh, I had weight loss surgery, you'd go, why? I mean, he's like normal overweight. You know, just kind of normal, could lose some pounds, but he just looks great. And, of course, he has that beautiful smile, and we had a fun time, chat, 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 all over breakfast and uh, in the truck stop, and it was really fun. So thanks, Tom. Thanks for stopping. It was so good to see you. Now let me see if there's anything else. Um, oh, I told all my uh, doctors and nutritionists and primary care physician and program director that I'm moving to Michigan and they were all fine with it. I have already scouted out. I have an appointment a week after I get there with a, a, a great bariatric program at, um, oh, I'm forgetting, of course I'm forgetting the name of it. Beaumont um, Health Center has a great program and I'm uh, so I'm all hooked up with them. They've got a great follow-up program, so I'll be able to do that. I bought a medical alert bracelet from Lauren's Hope, a silver one, which I've had to send back twice to be resized because it was just too big, and then I tried to fix it and ruined a link, so I've sent that back, but they've got some great bracelets on there. I got a sterling silver one to match my watch, but they have some much less expensive ones, too, so I highly recommend them, Lauren's Hope. Uh, if I'll try to put the link over to the side because you know it really is important I think I thought of it because I'm driving across country but just in general not across but to Michigan just in general um, you know if you're in an accident and they don't know that you've had this bypass surgery and they put a blind NG tube in you it is going to perforate something so and also they would give you NSAIDs and we can't have those so I have my name, I have gastric, RNY gastric bypass, I have no blind NG tube, and no NSAIDs. I also have a, an erythromycin allergy. So I have all that on that little medical alert bracelet. And it's sterling silver, looks nice, and um, so I think everybody should get one of those. And I'm trying to think of who I heard that from. I forget, one of you guys on YouTube... Uh, uh, mentioned getting one, so that's where I got it. So I think, oh, the last thing is my surgeon doesn't um, doesn't recommend doing the Prilosec and the Actigal. Prilosec for uh, ulcers, to prevent ulcers, and Actigal to prevent the formation of gallstones because as many of you know, we weight loss surgery patients often when we lose weight fast 
um, some, the, the gallbladder will start to go. And this helps to prevent that. And when I mentioned it to him, I know a bunch of women in my uh, obesity help group that you all met at our gathering, they're all, they're do their surgeon recommends this for all of them, and they're all on it. I mentioned it to him, and he was like, nah, I'm not convinced it works. Well, you know what? I don't want to take a chance. So I went right from him to my primary care physician and said, how about it? She goes, sure, I'll give it to you. So I got the prescription. I haven't filled it yet, but I'm going to start taking that because I don't want to have to go through another. I don't want to have to go through the pain of my gallbladder going and then having to do surgery even though it's an easy surgery. I just don't want to do it. So if this will help prevent it and it doesn't, uh, there are no contradictions for it, then I'm all for it. So that's it for me. It's uh, 20 minutes of 11 on Saturday. I don't have my sermon written. <laughs> and I had best get going. So I am going to try to get this uploaded. And um, I'll see you next week. Hopefully next Friday. Friday's going to be my regular update. Oh, I should say this. I think, and Tom gave me this advice as well, I'm three weeks out and I'm not losing a pound every day anymore. So, I think I'm going to, I don't know that I can last and not weigh for a week, but I think I'm only going to weigh a couple of times a week, or even weigh every other day. I may do that. I may weigh every other day for a while and then go to once a week so that it's not so. Because I know it's going to slow down. I know that you kind of lose, and then your body regroups for a while, and then you lose again, and it's important to see that pattern and not get all bent out of shape about it. But when you're used to seeing yourself go down a pound every day, hard not to see that, I think. so. Anyway, I hope you are all doing well, that you're happy, that you're either um, moving along your road to your surgery, uh, whatever hoops you have to jump through to get there. Um, I, those of you who have had surgery, I hope things are settling down for you. If you're having difficulty eating certain foods, just hang in there. I know it's easy for me to say I haven't had any problems, but um, it does feel great, doesn't it? When you're losing weight, you just feel so good. It's like you have this, kind of like you're in love. Remember that when you first fall in love and the world is brighter and it just feels good to know that I'm losing weight and to feel a little bit better every day. So I wish that for all of you. And um, I will see you next week, if not before. Bye-bye. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Hope you're enjoying a great long weekend. Bye-bye.